Okay, let's talk about powers and exponents. And this is definitely an algebra must-know skill. Uh, and I have some examples here. I'm actually going to do each one of these problems, but I'm also going to cover quickly uh, the properties of powers and exponents. But this is just going to be a quick little mini lesson, a little review on this. If you need more extensive help on this, I'm going to give you some additional suggestions as well. But you can see where we have some uh, powers and exponents. Basically, uh, this whole thing right here, we would consider a power, the little number in the top right, like this 3, is an exponent. But here we're multiplying powers, here we're going to divide powers, and then we got to figure out what to do with negative powers, and then what happens when we take a power to a power. Then here we can even um, have numbers to certain powers. We've got to be able to simplify things like this. So I'm going to cover each one of these here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I have a very comprehensive math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. But basically, I have a ton of math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're struggling uh, with your math courses, whether that's middle school, high school, or college, I can help you out. If you are taking a test and it has math on it, so examples would be the GED, SAT, a GRE, GMAT, a teacher certification, you kind of, you know, think of a test. If it has math on it, I have a test prep course for it. Um, again, you can just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I can help you pass these exams. If you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then if you do not have math notes, if you're a student, you're not taking math notes, you're really doing yourself a disservice. You got to take math notes. Okay, great math notes. It's critical. I've been teaching math for decades. This is a key component to your success in math. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But um, now, let's get into these problems. Now, if you think you can do these problems and you just want to kind of challenge yourself real quick, I would say that would be a great use of this video. Okay, just see if you can simplify these. Obviously, if you know what you're doing, um, these are not difficult problems. They'll take you all about maybe 20 seconds to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get started now and covering or reviewing the properties of exponents. So when you're dealing with the um, powers in algebra, okay, so for example, let's uh, just write this here, x to the fifth power. This whole thing is considered a power. So we'll, let's just make sure we have the right terminology here. And this little number up here, this number is called the exponent, okay? And then this bigger number down here in the bottom is the base, okay? So we have a base, we have an exponent, but the whole entire thing is a power. So we don't want to get, um, you know, our uh, terminology, you know, confused here. We have a base to an exponent. That whole thing is a power. So here we have what we, call, what we call the property properties of exponents, okay? So let's go and just cover these. And this should be in your algebra notes. If they uh, are not, you can pause the video and put those in uh, to your notes. But let's just cover these real quick. Okay, so when you're multiplying powers, so we have a to the m power. So, of course, we, we're using variables, not actual numbers. They're just placeholders, right? So a to the m power times a to the n power. The rule is a to the m plus n. Now, what does that mean? Well, if the bases are the same, okay, the bases are the same, that bottom uh, number, like in other words, you have x to the fifth times x squared, what this rule is saying is you keep the same base, so in this case it would be x, and then you add the exponents, so m plus n, that's 5 plus 2 in this example, that would be 7, okay? Now, I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but... Um, in terms of a uh, an example, the matter of fact, the problems they're going to be doing here in a second, we'll kind of cover uh, the majority of these properties. But let's cover this one here. This is the division of powers and exponents. So here, a to the m divided by a to the n. Again, if the bases are the same, you're going to subtract the exponents, okay? But you're going to have m first, that numerator exponent. you got to be very... Um, diligent, very focused when you're applying these properties because it's so easy to make a mistake. All right, so let's uh, go on to our next rule here. A to the zero. Anything to the zero power is one. That's pretty easy. Now let's uh, talk about this one. A to the negative n. So when you have a negative exponent, it's one over a to the n. I just did a full um, uh, video 
a few days ago on this particular property because this one here confuses a lot of students. So you might want to check out uh, in my algebra playlist on my YouTube channel, Negative Exponents. You'll get more clarification on this, but uh, we'll just quickly do an example in this particular video. Now let's look at this uh, rule, a to the m to the n. So this is a power to a power. That's equal to a to the m times n. So you can we're multiplying uh, those exponents together. So these are the properties you need to know. And of course, you know, you probably, you know, uh, you know, if you're in any kind of algebra course, you know, you've uh, learned these or you hopefully have these in your notes. But it's not just enough to have these in your notes. You need to know how to apply these properties. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right. So let's take a look at our first problem. Now, we're you're looking at this problem. You're saying, OK, what is the situation? Well, we have uh, powers, okay, but we're multiplying power. So we're thinking to ourselves, okay, which rule applies here? And it would be this rule, right? The multiplication of power. So if the bases are the same, we're going to add the exponents. All right, so here, uh, the bases are the same, A and A. So this means I could just put that as 1A, 3 plus, uh, well, let's just write it out here, 3 plus 2, that's going to be 5. So that's going to be A to the fifth. Now, to be very clear about this, what if I had a cubed times b squared, okay? Could I do anything here? No, you cannot because these bases are different, okay? These have to be the exact same in order to multiply. And that's the same thing with division as well. So be very, very mindful of that. So in this particular case, um, uh, this is as simple as it can go, okay? Now, a cubed times b squared. Really, in algebra, we write these next to one another, a cubed times b squared, like so, okay? But just for our purposes, so you can really kind of see that more explicitly, okay? The multiplication, the, what rule to follow, that's why we, uh, you know, I'm kind of writing it out that way. All right, so let's move forward. And our next problem is division, okay? So we're dividing one power by another, and it's the same concept with multiplication. I can do this problem if the bases are the same. So I'm dealing with M and M. Okay, they're uh, the same base. So which uh, rule will I be using? This rule, okay? So I'm just going to subtract the exponents, but notice here I'm starting with the numerator, um, the numerator's exponent first, and then I'll subtract the denominator, all right? Be very careful with uh, this because this would certainly change your answer if you reverse this. So this is going to be m to the 10 minus 3, and that is equal to m to the 7th power. Pretty straightforward. Now, another way to think of this is this. This is m to the 10th, right? How many m's is that being multiplied by itself? Well, let's just write them out. This is going to look kind of crazy, but let's see if we can make our, our point here. So that's 10 m's, okay? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> that was pretty fun. This kind of reminds me of that thing. What was that uh, little crazy toy back in the 70s and 60s? A slinky, I think it was called. It was kind of like boop, boop. Anyways, I uh, digress. And so that's going to be over. That's m to the 10th power. So this is all these m's. This is 10 m's. And then we have m cubed, or this is being divided by m cubed. So that's three m's. One, two, three. Okay, so what I could do is I could cross cancel these three M's with three M's up here. Okay, so this is, remember, these are factors, or right? this is getting, multi uh, they're being multiplied by one another. So you could cross cancel these uh, three M's and these three M's, and that's, you know, you're left with how many M's right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's M to the seventh. So you know, this is the whole idea. And same thing here, you can um, illustrate that whole uh, concept. These rules you can see if you kind of expand out and look at the properties. But again, you know, what I'm trying to do here is not just quickly go through some example problems. Like, okay, here, let me show you how to do this real quick and get the answer. It's not, you know, when I teach, okay, I'm just not trying to show you the answer. I'm trying to fully explain this in, in a way that this will really stick, okay? Uh, you know, after teaching math, for decades, a quick just illustration of how to do a problem is not enough for a lot of students. You really need to, you know, uh, both students need a good, thorough explanation of this so that they remember how to apply these properties. Okay, let's move on. And here, I have uh, n to the negative 1, okay? So what 
power or what rule is going to apply, it's going to be this rule right here, a to the negative n. That's 1 over a to the n. So whatever this is, we basically put this down in the denominator, and that sign goes uh, from negative to positive. Now, this rule, okay, deserves its own video, and I have um, made a full video on this particular rule, working with negative exponents. Probably, I made uh, probably a couple of these videos in my YouTube channel, but let's just go ahead and deal with this problem. Uh, n to the negative 1, that is 1 over n, okay, or n to the first. Let's do another one real quick. If I have um, a to the negative 2 power, that's equal to 1 over a squared, okay? But this can get more confusing here if I have a negative exponent, but it's in the uh, denominator. So what if I had 1 over a to the negative third power, okay? What about that? Well, this is equal to, according to the rule, 1 over 1 over a cubed, okay? But effectively, that's just going to, um, when you do all this complex fraction, 1 divided by 1 over a cubed, it's going to be just a cubed, okay? So this particular uh, property right here, um, well, this one actually, a to the negative n is 1 over a to the n, uh, confuses a lot of students. Again, I'm going to try to uh, direct you towards my um, uh, video on just that particular rule, okay, if you're confused with it. We're going to do a problem down here uh, in a second to kind of, uh, you know, reinforce this here. All right, let's move on to this last problem. Let me erase this. This is a power to a power, and we could just reference uh, this situation with this property right here, okay, a to the m times n. We're just simply going to uh, multiply the exponents. Uh, very, very easy. So z squared to the fourth is nothing more than z to the eighth power. Okay, pretty easy stuff. And now let's wrap it up with uh, this last problem, okay? So, so far we've been working with uh, variables, okay, and as the base, like z to the fourth, but these properties of exponents apply uh, to when you're dealing with powers with numbers as well, okay? So let's take a look at this situation. How would I simplify this problem? Okay, well, we have two ways we can approach this. The first is we can uh, use division. We can use this property, a to the m over a to the n, so that would be a to the m minus n. So this would be 3, okay, remember it's the numerator power first, negative 2 minus 4, okay? So that would be equal to 3 to the negative 6 power. Now, here we're not done yet, right? Because now I have a negative uh, exponent. So now remember we have our, our, our property a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So here I can drop this down. That would be 1 over 3 to the 6 power. Okay, 1 over 3 to the 6 power. That is the correct answer. And uh, let's take a look at this same problem, but we're uh, going to approach this in a different way. So here is 3 to the negative 2 power over 3 to the 4th power. So what can I do here? Well, this is an illustration of working with negative exponents. And the main idea is this. I can um, take this uh, power right here, and I could put it down in the opposite side of the fraction bar. This is the the kind of the an illustration of this video that I did on negative exponents. But basically, the way it works is if you put this whole power down in uh, the opposite side, if right now it's in the numerator. If I put this down in the denominator, what ends up happening is the sign changes. So if this is negative, this becomes positive. So I could really just take this whole thing, put it down uh, in the uh, denominator. So that's going to be uh, 3 now to a positive 2 times 3 to the 4th power. Okay, now you can see here, uh, 3 squared times 3 to the 4th, same base, so I could just add the exponents, so 2 and 4 is 6, that's 1 over 3 to the 6th power, just as we have right here. But let's just make this point a little bit clearer, and then we'll wrap up this video. So 3 to the negative 2 over 3 to the 4th. Now, what I decided to do was to move this power down in uh, the denominator, but I could have also move this power up in the numerator, right? It's not the way I would approach this problem, but let's just make sure you understand this. So here it's three to the positive fourth. If I move this up to the numerator, 
that's going to go from uh, a positive 4 to a negative 4. Okay, so whatever that sign is, it just becomes the opposite sign. Okay, if it's positive here, it'll become negative here. If it's negative here, it'll become positive here. It doesn't make a difference. So I could write this as 3 to the negative 4th times 3 to the negative 2 all over 1. Okay, and of course, I can now add these exponents, same base. This is multiplication. So that's 3 to the negative 6. And of course, that is 1 over 3 to the 6 power. So lots of different ways you can uh, come to the right uh, you know, answer when you're dealing with properties and exponents. But uh, you know, typically, you know, uh, this particular property, working with negative exponents, gives students some uh, challenges. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Again, you cannot escape working with um, properties of uh, exponents in algebra. You absolutely must need to know this. But hopefully, you know, um, this video it was a good little review for you. Again, you know, I'm just going pretty quickly here. The main idea in math is not to just to watch me do it and be like, oh, okay, now I know what to do. You have to practice this stuff to really develop the skill uh, to kind of keep long term in your memory. But if this video was helpful to some small degree, please consider smashing that like button. That's why I make these videos. And if you're new to my, new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos on my channel, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, so if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the work that I have done and I will continue to do, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.